Hi, today I'm gonna take you along with me and show you my creative process when I'm doing a self-portrait shoot. So, let's do it. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna wear. This insane, insane vintage piece that my mom gave me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's so beautiful. I have never worn it, um, except for just like putting it on in the house. But I really want to do a shoot with it. I was really thinking that this color would pop against this beautiful like rust color of the couch. I really like these colors together. I really want to experiment with being more expressive and so for that, I thought it would be good to sort of come up with a story that would help me in terms of like, you know, kind of acting it out. It's almost like a performance. I think the story is gonna be like a woman who has been stood up at, I guess you could say, like a lounge or something. The parlor, that's what we call the apartment, is the parlor. There's a relationship there, there's history, so she's really upset and it like means a lot that she's been stood up and it like cuts really deep, basically. So I think I'm gonna finish setting up the light stands and then put on the dress and then we can sort of like stage things and find good angles and play with the lights, play with the different colors of the lights and um, play with different props and stuff like that. So I like to just like pick something in my closet that I really love and that I, you know, maybe something that I have never worn like this, but I've always wanted to do something with it. And then just like sort of in the moment creating the world around it. Nice. Diffuse that light a little bit. I really love using these just to get little spots of color. I think I'm gonna use this camera, but I also like to use my iPhone for some photos. For lighting, I'm using the Aperture P60C. It's a powerful LED panel with built-in effects and full range of color. And this could be more diffused, but I'm happy with the high key look for this setup. For the accent lights, I'm using the Aperture MC small LED panels, and they are really useful for getting pops of colors and interesting shadows. The camera I'm using to take these photos is the Sony a7 III. My mom said she thinks this is from the 70s, this dress. And then, I mean, look at the color. Like, I can't. The, the white, the lace, the trim. And then there's this part of the set. This is the way. Checking it on this monitor. Playing with the colors. Playing with the lighting. It's actually my first time using this app. I usually just take the photo and then I have to go check it a million times, of course. But it's cool to be able to do this. So it's an interesting angle. I'm doing the self-timer. I think my character needs a drink in her hand. <laughs> I've got an idea for that. My antique cabinet. This one is, whoo, it's got Lily of the Valley on it. It worked. I'm looking all over. 
Pues sí. <risa> The shadows that the glass is casting is cool. I really like this lighting setup and what it's doing with the colors and the shadows. Like you see how we're getting this really interesting blue on the outside of these silhouette shadows? I found a new angle. If you enjoyed watching this creative process of my self-portrait shoot, then let me know if you want to see more.